Hey y'all, Dennis, Dennis's Backyard Barbecue. Today we're gonna make some dill pickle boats. We're gonna use some jalapeno peppers, some cream cheese, some sharp cheddar cheese. We're gonna use some ground pork and we're gonna wrap them up in bacon just to make them extra good. So let's get to it, I'll show you how we're gonna do it. All right, we got some pickled jalapenos and I'm just gonna cut them up a little bit smaller so that they'll mesh well with this. This will give us a little bit of, a little bit of kick. And then our rub we're gonna use is gonna be Big Papa's Hallelujah Jalapeno. That's my new favorite rub for you guys watching my last several videos. Okay, so I've got my jalapenos chopped up. Let's put them in the bowl. Now I've got eight ounces of whipped cream cheese. We're gonna put it in the bowl. Love me some cream cheese. All right, so we got our cream cheese in the bowl. Now, I've got <clears throat> one pound of ground pork. We're gonna put that in the bowl. Next thing we're going to do is put some sharp cheddar cheese in the bowl. How much sharp cheddar cheese do we have? 12 ounces. We're going to put about half. That looks good. So we're going to put about six ounces of sharp cheddar cheese in the bowl. All right, now we're going to mix all that up together. All right, now let's dive in here and mix all this up. And everything mixed good so that all of our pickles taste the same. I have done this before where I put a little bit of oil on the gloves just to prevent the sticking. It didn't really work. So, I mean, you can try it. Best thing to do is just put on some gloves and dive right on in. And then that looks like it's mixed up pretty good. So now I just gotta clean everything off my, off my fingers because we don't want to waste anything. All right, and this, this is our, our stuffing for the pickles. Now, it's time to prepare the pickles. Okay, I don't know how many pickles it's gonna take with this recipe because I'm adapting another recipe that I found. So what we're going to do, get out here where we got some more light. All right, I'm just gonna take these pickles and cut them in half. Straight down the middle, best we can. Let me get a plate to put these on because that cutting board is going to fill up pretty fast. Okay, so we're going to take our pickles. And cut them in half. I'm going to do five pickles. If we don't need five pickles for this, hey, I've got some split dill pickles I can eat. Right? And then you guys... We'll know how many pickles it's going to take when you follow this recipe. Now, let me get another, let's see, let's get a bowl. Let's get us a bowl. Because now I have to hollow out the pickles. And past experience says the easiest way to do this is with a spoon. 
and I'm trying to make it so you can see. Just take the spoon and drag down through the pickle. Get the meat out of it. And you're just making a little canoe. Let me get you over here. See, you're just making a little canoe with the pickle. All right, so I'm going to do one more while y'all are watching. And then I'm going to finish them up. And when we come back, it'll be time to start filling them. Okay, so easy way to do this is just cut around the edge with your spoon. Grab the pickle meat. And then just hollow it out. All right, so I'm going to do the rest of them. And that way you don't have to watch the whole boring process. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now I've got all my pickles canoed. So I'm taking the mixture and just spooning it. And putting it in the pickle. Just like that. And that's what they're going to look like. I'll do one more while you're watching. Let's get this one. We'll go ahead and put that in there like that. Okay, so that's two. Let's finish the rest of them. And then we'll wrap them in bacon. Okay, so we've got all our boats filled with the stuffing. Now we're going to take our big papa's hallelujah jalapeno, and we're going to just put that on here. All right. Now... We got that done, now it's time to wrap them in bacon. Once we get them bacon wrapped, we'll put some more rub on top, and then it's gonna be time to throw them on the grill. So, yeah, these are a little bit intensive on prep time, but we are gonna find out if they're good. Now, the website I got the recipe from says that they are real good. All right, so. And this is thin sliced bacon. I wish I would have been able to get thick. But for the first one, there we go. And I think I have enough bacon if I need to do two per, I can. So let me wrap this one. Keep the bacon from folding up around itself. Because you know if I got leftover bacon, we're just going to cook some bacon. Right, I'm going to do two more and uh, let y'all watch. See, this is a this is a bigger one, so it's going to take two pieces. So we'll let y'all watch. All right, last one, and then I'm not going to bore you with watching me wrap all these things in bacon. All right, I'm going to wrap the rest of them, and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've got all 12 of them bacon wrapped, and they're ready to go on the grill. But first, I want to put a little bit more rub on them. I'm not going to turn them or anything like that, because we're going to keep them with the 
the filling side of the boat up and we're going to cook them until we get to about 165 degrees internal because we got that ground sausage in there. I'm not too worried about it because by the time we get the bacon done, it's going to be good. So let's go throw these things on the grill. All right, so we are ready to go on the grill. We got our grill at about 425 degrees on the cool side. So let's put these bad boys on there. And I'm going to start. I want them as far away from the coals as I can get them. And the whole mixture required six big dill pickles. And it made 12 boats. So now I'm gonna go across here sideways like this. And then I got two. Then I'm gonna try to get way out away from the heat. And we're gonna put those just like that. So it's probably going to take about 20 minutes at this temperature, so we'll check them in 10. And I'm not trying to get smoke flavor on them. That's why I've got the vent on the other side. I want to know what the temperature is above the pickles. All right, let's wait. All right, let's take a look. Uh, they've been up to temperature. They've been on for 50 minutes. They've been up to temperature for about 30, but I want to crisp this bacon up some more. So I'm just going to leave them on here at about 350 degrees. <laughs> they're not overcooking. They're not burning, but I want my bacon to be right. So if you're doing this, you can do it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees on the cool side, and you'll be fine. I like crispy bacon. So we're going to wait a little bit. Okay, they have now been on for an hour and five minutes. And the temperature over the pickles ended up settling out around 350. So, I am finally happy with the way they look. So we're gonna pull them off, let them cool for a bit, because I guarantee you that stuff inside is like lava. So let's pull them off of here. We got one that didn't want to cooperate that wanted to fall apart. <clears throat> but we're gonna eat him too. Now these are good for dipping in ranch dressing. All right, all right, I've given them time to cool off so I don't burn the doo-doo out of myself. Let's uh, dip one in a little bit of ranch dressing. Mmm, 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 mmm. Man, that is good. With the jalapeno and the cream cheese and the cheddar cheese, and a little bitter from the dill. And even though I let it sit for about five minutes, it is still really hot. But, man, this is a good little tailgate snack. I'm fixing to watch Carolina Vanderbilt here in a few minutes. And we're going to be eating these. Mm. Now this video won't drop until after the Carolina Vanderbilt game, but man, that is good. I will put the, the recipe down in the description. I do have links down there to ThermaPro, Amazon, Amazon Euflora. Um, uh, the ThermaPro link, use the code, coupon code DBB15, and you'll save 15% on anything you get from ThermaPro. And until next time I see y'all at the grill, Y'all keep on grilling.